Welcome back, ladies and gents, to Tack Life. I'm your host, Travis. As always, my co-host is walking around behind me, Charles. He's just uh, doing his part for the, the channel. So I had a viewer request for this video. I did a duty belt video, which um, has gotten a lot of traction, and I appreciate everybody for watching that. And this individual is a security officer, and it was a valid point that a lot of people who wear duty belts are not just law enforcement, but they are also security officers. Nowadays, more than ever, more places are hiring security for overtime and things like that. Um, even, you know, banks, they'll have one station outside now in some places and, and DMV and so on and so forth. All kinds of places have security. Um, and then you have some serious security like at places like power companies, nuclear facilities and stuff like that. So. It's really a broad range of security and what they do and do not carry. So me speaking to you, my original duty belt video would work for a licensed um, armed security officer. That would work great because it's basically you're wearing exactly what a police officer wears. However, if you are a, what do they call it? An unarmed security officer or whatever they want to call it, where you don't have a pistol, you're most likely going to have a setup where your taser would take place of your pistol and your magazine would obviously not be there anymore. So to me, the basic layout I would have would be taser. Obviously, if you're left-handed, everything's going to be opposite because you're opposite. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, get right. Get it? Get right. Just kidding. Don't do that. Um, be who you are. Be yourself. But seriously, um, taser. I would keep my pepper spray over here and then I would have my baton still over here. I would have my flashlight over here. I would still keep my law enforcement TDI K bar on my left side, non-dominant side. And then you're left with this spot where your magazines used to be. But I mean, you can have your magazines on either side, but you're still left with this front spot where the magazines were for me. I would put a double handcuff pouch up there. And I keep everything from about what is this, seven o'clock and four o'clock forward. Because as I've said in my previous video, you don't want anything across the small of your back. You're gonna sit down or get pushed into a wall or slammed through a table or whatever happens at your job. And you're gonna wreck your back if you don't. Just tips and tricks. So that's my suggestion for the belt. And then obviously if you don't work at a place where you can have an external carrier, you're also gonna have your radio and probably a tourniquet. I would have a tourniquet handy. I mean, just smart, even if you don't carry a gun. Somebody else might, might be good to have. But the radio is super heavy, so you really just gotta find, once you get it laid out, where it's gonna go. It's usually gonna go back here somewhere, so this taser will be moved. These, my flashlight and my ASP would move forward to this spot, so you'd have this spot right here for your radio. That's where I used to keep mine, that's where I would put it. So, real quick, taser. Pepper spray, double ass, or just handcuff pouch, not asp pouch, but double handcuff pouch. I use asp cuffs, so asp cuffs. Don't get crazy. Um, all right, sidetracked again. All right, taser, pepper spray, double cuff pouch, probably some keys, knife, asp baton, <laughs> flashlight, and then radio. That would be how I'd lay it out initially. Now, if you want to not have a double cuff pouch, you can have cuffs on either side of the small of your back. You can always do that. But you don't want to put a double cuff pouch on your back because you can't get to both cuffs with both hands if you do that. So it needs to be up here if you're going to do a double cuff pouch, somewhere up in front so you can get to it with both hands. I'm not going to, hold on, i got to get my cuffs and you're using this hand for holding somebody or whatever. It's not going to work. So either... One on each side back here or a double cuff pouch somewhere up here works the best, in my opinion. Again, this is all my opinion, so. And if you can use an external vest, by all means, do what I did. Put your cuffs up here. This is my body camera. Um, radio and then your tourniquet. And then I keep a lapel flashlight up here because one flashlight is none. And then I also have a flashlight ring back here for my big mag light. I keep that in my vehicle and I only pull that out if I'm like searching for somebody in the woods because it'll last longer than my other two. And I like to have extra lights. So that's the best way I've got to balance out the weight just because 
All this stuff together is like 40 pounds and having it all on your belt, if you can avoid it, take it off and, and put it on your vest. It just really helps distribute all that weight. And that's what it's all about is just the balancing game. And uh, so this belt, as I spoke about in my, my original duty belt video, it's a, it's a Condor Cobra belt and it's got the, uh, the rubber liner on the inside belt and then Velcro to an external belt that's got the laser molly. Not all my gear is molly, so I made it work, but you can by all means go out and buy a whole bunch of molly gear if you don't have it. I mean, it, it works either way, but obviously if it's molly compatible, it'll work better. It's a whole lot better to do that than to have an inner belt like this. This is just a Safari Land leather inner belt and then having your external duty belt ride over top of it. And the only reason I, I say that is because when you do this, you have to use about four or five belt keepers to hold all of this and all that gear in place. So every time you gotta go to the bathroom or take this stuff off, you have to unsnap each one of the four or five of them to remove all that stuff off your waist to use the bathroom. And when the time crunches on, seconds matter. So, and just because, not even just using the bathroom, keeping stuff on a just a plain old duty belt like this, as soon as you take it off, all your junk slides from one side to the other. So every time you put this on, you've got to adjust everything, put all your clips on. It's a nightmare and adds like a solid 15 minutes to put your gear on. Whereas this one, check it out. Boom, everything's exactly where I left it every time I put it on and that's what's important knowing exactly where your gear is so highly recommend these they're like 70 bucks on eBay it's Condor brand um, a lot of companies Blue Alpha gear and stuff they all make similar things to this any of them would be fine I'm sure but this one is awesome and if you are one of those people who wants to make a bedside um, war belt kind of thing for like home defense it's a really good idea and I've been meaning to order another one just for that purpose because, you know, if something goes bump in the night, you have your pistol next to you on your bed stand or whatever in your drawer. Well, you go grab it and you're walking around and you all you got is your pistol, hopefully with a flashlight on the end of it. But that's all you got. So if you set up a pistol on one of these with an extra flashlight, maybe one or two extra magazines on it, maybe throw some zip ties in there, I don't know, whatever pepper spray, whatever you feel, bear spray, if you live in an area that's common to have problems with bears, you're ready for whatever. You just throw that sucker around like I just did, roll out of bed, nothing but boots and a duty belt, walking out your door, checking to see what's going bump in the night. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I was a burglar and some dude's wearing boots and a duty belt and that's it, and he comes after me while I'm on his property, I'm running, mainly just because of what I just saw, not because of the duty belt and the gun. Um, but seriously, it's a... Uh, I think it's a solid, solid plan. Everything's together in one, and then if you gotta go away, you can just throw that battle belt in your truck, or you can throw it in your safe. Everything's always together, you know exactly where it is, and like I said, every time you take it on and off, you know exactly where everything is. So, I really think it's a smart idea to do that with like a bedside gun. And uh, I've only heard of like one other person doing that, and I just, I thought it was really clever. I just haven't gotten around to ordering another one of these belts, because they are like 70 bucks, and and everyone's got 70 bucks to throw around, you know? I, uh, I got other projects going on, so. But I think that's a really neat idea. So I hope, hope this video helped and answered the questions that you had about what a security officer would do with a duty belt. And hopefully it gave you another idea about a, a bedtime uh, gun situation. Um, so, all right, well, hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks everyone.